welcome back. I have successfully completed the training process and it took nearly 2.12 hours to complete the 50 epochs. Perhaps in order to do the 100 epochs, it might take 4 hours. But anyway, I have completed the whole process and you can also look into the summary of the results here and we found that nearly the precision and the recall for all the classes is on average it is 0.755 this is the precision and the recall is 0.648 and the mean absolute precision for the confidence score of 0.5 it is 70 percentage and the mean absolute precision for the confidence score 95 percentage it is 0.46 and with that what i can say it is a really a good model because achieving such a good accuracy is also really great and also you can look into the individual precision recall and also mean absolute score for the respective objects is also printed here and what we can see here is that for the detecting the person the mean absolute precision for the 50 percent confidence score it is 0.851 it's really good whereas for the few objects like chair it is 0.44 and so on it is bad but overall you can see that mean absolute precision for the confidence score of 0.5 it is 0.7 it's really a good thing and also we saved our results in the runs train and the model folder you can see that whereas in the yolo and there is one folder called runs inside the runs we have the train and inside the train there is a models and here we have all the results are saved and uh, inside the weights you can see the models which is saved in the PyTorch format. What we need to do here is that since I just want to load that in the OpenCV, I need to convert that into ONNX format. Now let us export our model to ONNX format. Let me go back to my collab and here let's type the following to convert that into ONNX which is Python and we need to call the export.py export.py is basically this we are actually calling the export.py and if you open that and here you can see the different formats that we can actually save our model like uh, onx is basically used for the open cv and we can also save that in the TensorFlow and so on. Anyway, since I just want to load my model in the OpenCV, so let me save that in the ONNX format. Okay. So the syntax to run that is this. We need to basically type the Python and the path of the export file and provide the weights of our model what we have saved. And then we will need to include the TOT script and ONNX. So let me copy this. Basically, let me copy this and paste it here. Obviously, the first one should be the exclamatory mark. And the path of export.py is obviously in the same folder I'm working on this. So I'll just give the export.py. And here, the what the weights I need to give is, which is actually in the runs, train, models, weights. And there are two weights are basically Z, which is best and second one is last. I'm going to give the best weights okay let's provide that remember it was there in the runs train and models folder let's provide this the weights is basically runs train models folder and inside that we have the weights and inside the weights folder we have the best.pt best.pt okay and then include the top script to o and nx this is basically the format i need to save now let's execute this done we have successfully saved our model in o and nx format let's look into that and inside that you can see we have the model that is best dot o and nx cool so this is how we can convert our model into ONNX in the next lesson we're going to use this but what we have to do in this lesson is first let's save this into our local directory because in the further lessons we are going to use this only so basically I'm going to save the models folder where I'm having all the results 
let's go back what you have to do right click and click on download and navigate to our current working directory in the data where we have the data preparation folder let me create one more folder and name that as predict two predictions okay let's save this all right we have successfully saved that and you can notice that we have the predictions folder and inside that this is what we have saved let me extract this right click and extract here that's it we have successfully extracted all these things let me check and here you go we have all the results and inside the weight we have the best.onnx file which is actually we're going to use in the next lessons cool right all right since we have trained our model in the yolo training and what you have to do is always it is a good practice once you have finished your notebooks you have to terminate this notebook so that you can utilize this time for the next models okay in order to terminate this click on runtime manage sessions and click on terminate okay and safely you can close this window and also close this window okay now once you go back into this in the yolo training you have this model and the no kernels are running and now you can use this time whenever you are running any other models okay in the next lesson we will talk more on this until then happy learning